All right, y'all. One of my number one most requested videos is about to play. Are y'all ready for this? What do y'all think the number one requested video has been? I'm about to show you. Oh God, I almost thought I stepped on it. Let me see if I can find it again. Where was I standing? Oh, right here. You just break it off? Pinch it at the ground. Look at that. Now shake it and blow it. <laughs> Kevin just said, shake it and blow it. Look right here though, folks. Look right here. Number two. You guys, we're having morel mushrooms and some fresh wild turkey for dinner. <sighs> Get him, girl. We got Mr. Kevin, Mr. Glenn, Miss Kelly, Crystal Beachy, Jake, and Luke's back at the house playing with his monkey. I don't, I don't know what to tell you guys, but that's just what he's doing. It'll make sense to you in a little bit. First, we got to get some more mushrooms. Crystal, whatever you do, do not step on one of Kevin's mushrooms. Kevin said he would tan my hide. He would. They're hard to see. There's mushrooms hidden in all these leaves. You just got to find them, and that's what they look like. It looks so weird, don't it's cold. Yeah, mine's cold too. They're colder than that. don't look very tasty. Though. Babe, you know what they say, a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. <laughs> I didn't even find this one. Kelly had to point it out for me, honestly. <laughs> I actually am proud of myself. I found these two before Kevin did. Leave a comment below if you've ever went and hunted morel mushrooms or even ate them. I never have. I've I've looked for them a bunch of times in Nebraska with Tanner, but I've never ever found one number three for me you have to look so close in all these leaves they're really hidden babe yeah, i ain't got no hope in finding these things i'm wearing you out right now Kevin just found them. why are you pointing them out oh i see that that counts for me too I saw it there. I just was trying to let Crystal find it. Look at them eyelashes, though. Looking all good in the hood. Show what the heck is on your side. Protection. Pull it out. Let's see that thing. <laughs> For protection. For what? Snakes. Snakes. They're bad back. Y'all got little teeny snakes here in no. Tennessee. We killed a six-foot rattlesnake two years ago back here. We got black snakes that'll eat rattlesnakes at home. Jake, you ever toted a pistol with us in the woods? Nope. Hey, look what I just seen over your shoulder, though. Here, let me add them to the bucket. Did you find all those or Crystal put them in there? Crystal put them in there. Okay. On a serious note, I need you guys to leave a comment below and tell me. You see this right here? This is a wild onion. If you break it off and smell it, Whew, it smells like really, really potent onion. Is this edible? I thought you could just chop the green part up and put it on top of like turkey or whatever we're cooking tonight or whatever you're cooking at home. But Crystal doesn't know. She said, maybe you don't eat it. it smells like an onion and a garlic mix. Can you eat that? And if you do, do you dig up the bulb? I guess there might be a bulb in there. I don't think so. I got a tick crawling on my butt, I can feel it. Oh, there is a little bulb. Are you guys even looking for mushrooms? Right here. So if you follow along, and hopefully you do, because almost all my videos go in series. Like if you started about a year and a half ago, two years ago, You've literally followed us day by day. We don't yeah. skip anything. We film everything. Yay. Recently, we've been doing some gardening videos and we're trying to eat off the land a little bit more. That's definitely what we're doing today. But the only mushrooms we have in Florida that I know, you don't want to eat them. You'll be seeing monkeys in your sleep. You got four? You better come over here. I got a honey hole over here. Jake, don't step on none. Look at that one right there, right, right there. Don't, don't go no further. 
Right there, right there, right there, and next to that tree. A whole bunch of them, folks. Don't let me pick them. This one's not bad. Dave, what am I about to? Front of your foot. No, I saw him, but I was letting him. One in front of your foot. Something chewed on him. Oh, right here. I didn't even see that one. Here, Jake. You ain't eating no mushrooms if you don't I find them. I found one. Glenn's going hungry. I promise. I can't tell you that. Another one right here. But he's little. I'm gonna let that one grow. Goodness. That looks like the house the Smurfs used to live in. <laughs> yes, it is. That's a big old biggin. If you forage for food, what's your favorite thing to forage for? Like fruits and vegetables, berries, nuts, animals. I mean, hunting's foraging too. Leave a comment below. If you do this sort of thing, what's your favorite thing to forage for? Clams? I mean, it could be anything. Get in the comments and tell me what it is. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you've heard Luke in our last couple videos telling y'all it's his birthday and he wants to hit a million subscribers by the time he turns nine. Y'all, we only got two weeks left. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Kevin! Come here! <laughs> There's a big snake just went in that hole. <laughs> Act like you didn't just jump, folks. <laughs> I know that scared you. Dang, how did, how did you see that one? It's dark. Look at that big old big one. How long did it take you to find this spot? Five years. You need to get a dog. With all the animals, you got a dog that's trained to find them. <laughs> Wouldn't be hard to train a beagle. Probably not. They'd probably find it right off the bat. They have trained beagles down in the Everglades to find the pythons, folks. You can train a dog to smell anything. Goodness, there's another huge one right there. Is this the ash tree? Yes, this is the ash tree. Oh, look at that great big one. You guys, I've been looking for mushrooms all over the place, but look who I just run into. You pet my monkey? <laughs> Luke, what do you have? It's a monkey. Is this what you've been doing the whole time? It's a capuchin. Here's Miss Jamie. She is Our Life Adventures. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. I'm going to go up to the house and show you a little bit more of what they have to offer because bears, just a little bit of it. <laughs> These two. He's got a French bulldog and a monkey. Come here, buddy. Hey, buddy. You guys, this dude right here is something super awesome he's a capuchin monkey the same thing that's on pirates of the caribbean and he is the coolest thing you'll ever meet crystal have you replaced me oh yeah he's a lot better cuddler so if you follow our life adventures like i said a minute ago facebook instagram TikTok, and youtube they will keep you entertained daily kevin oh, oh gosh wait till i show you that noise kevin jamie's husband he ain't right is all I can tell you. He's, he's worth watching their shows just for him. This is Si. Silas, what are you doing? We'll give you a better look at him in a minute. What, buddy? It's actually the end of the day, so the monkeys have been going hard all day. They're not near as active as they normally are. Jake, you find you a new girlfriend? I knew you were about getting to be about that age. How are you? What you doing? Look at this goofy looking thing, y'all. This is Silas, their brand new camel. He's just a baby. He's just a baby. What? 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 Look at the unique lip he has. So their lips like a hair lip, but it's not. Then they got these crazy little baby emus. Look how they sit. I wish they would run like that one on the funny video I've seen. He's shooting at me. They said I couldn't catch one. Y'all think I can catch one? Oh, Silas, go chase him. Let's come on, let's go get him. Get it. <laughs> Look at this thing. Those emus can run like bullets. Come on, Silas. They've also got a little mini horse. They've got some mini cows. 
This one right here is full grown. Look how small they are. What? You're just full of wanting some attention, aren't you? Uh, hey, Fluffy. Nope. Last but not least, we got to show you guys Luke's favorite animal here at the Funny Farm. What's his name? Maui. That is one beautiful bird. And if y'all don't know this, Luke absolutely loves parrots. Are you glad you came this trip? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to bust a turkey tomorrow? Or play with a monkey? Play a monkey. You want to go eat some turkey with us? Do you, would you like to go eat some turkey with us? Okay, let's go. Is that what we're eating? I got a turkey. <laughs> I knew you'd get one on this trip somewhere. He's, he's a little spermy. That's Buddy. I mean, buddy! He'll probably be nice and tender. Don't I mean, you know you're turkey. at a funny farm when there's a dude with a beard and a chew in his mouth with a camel. <laughs> I mean, look at him. Uh -oh. Buddy. Did y'all just hear that bird laugh? Look, can we eat this turkey? Maybe. No. <laughs> Let's go eat. You don't want to fast forward through this part because we're about to lay it down in a kitchen here in Tennessee. Y'all check out all that turkey meat. You know why we got four breastuses? Because we done killed two turkeys, folks at home. Crystal Beachy busted her one in Tennessee late yesterday evening. We were literally getting up picking up decoys. Our good friend Ken hoot out right before we were getting ready to walk off and the turkey gobbled. Come straight in, Crystal busted him with a 410. Take him. <sighs> Get him, girl. Talk about a last minute ordeal right there. <laughs> Talk about last minute. <laughs> At 410, don't play. And yesterday morning in Georgia, I busted me a big old biggin. Hey, I sat up on him, called him straight out, killed him at 10 yards and full strut. Green beans and onions. I'm making y'all a meal. Check out these bad boys right here. We're gonna cook these really simple and then add them to the meal. I wanna cook the green beans down for about two or three minutes then I'm gonna add the turkey meat. So I like to cook the vegetables for probably two or three minutes before I add the turkey meat. Now I'm gonna add some seasoning because thus far I haven't put anything on it. Really no need. Just some salt. We've got some garlic powder. This meal right here is gonna knock y'all's socks off, folks. But what I'm most impressed by is this skillet. This thing right here is something serious. It takes up pretty much the whole stove. I'm telling you. It's huge. You can do the same recipe with anything, too. It doesn't have to be turkey. You can do it with pork or steak or whatever. Just gonna dice them up real quick. We're gonna saute them in just unsalted butter and a little bit of salt. Not sure why we're using unsalted butter other than it burns, but then we're gonna go ahead and add salt. Hit them with just a little bit of salt. If they soak up all that butter, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. I don't want to overcook them. I don't want to do anything crazy because I want to be able to taste them. A little bit more butter. Big old helping of garlic. Pour in the rice. Gonna hit it with that teriyaki. Not too much. Don't go overboard with the teriyaki because you can always add some later. A little bit of sesame. It's pretty much done now. All I'm going to do is mix it up. Turn off the heat. Ooh, it's going to be good. Are you hungry? Oh yeah. Before I show you guys the finished product, I want to show you if you have cast iron or you're wanting to cook with cast iron, 
clean it as soon as you're done eating and re-oil it back down. Don't use harsh soaps or anything, just get it clean and then immediately oil it back down and it will last forever. Like this one, I haven't washed it yet, that's what I cooked the mushrooms in. I'll wash it in just a second and I'll do the same thing. Then the next time you pull this pan out, it'll be just as clean as a whistle, seasoned and ready to cook. But can you smell it? Did you use soap when you showered? Kind of. All right, hit it, Jake. Thank you, dear God, for this day. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for letting us have a wonderful day today, doing all the things we got to do. And thank you for blessing us with this wonderful food from the turkeys you blessed us with. And thank you for everything you've done for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Look, mm. because you're the most comedic around here. Try your piece of mushroom. I'm a comedic? A comedian. Try it. Here, pass them around. Well, hold on, before we do, you remember how many we had? Look how small they cooked down. Ain't much left. Uh -uh. No. God, Crystal's even a little bit unsure. You realize that we're gonna get hate if we say we don't like them, because everybody under the sun loves them. Try it, Jake. Everybody's just getting I one. Like this is at most church. people, most We're people, back in our other communion bowl. most people would eat that bowl by themselves. You like it, Glenn? Tastes like a Cheeto. A Cheeto. <laughs> Luke said that earlier. It's good. Mm. You like it, Jake? Ain't nothing wrong with it. Let's see. A lot of people will say I cooked them wrong. I say I cooked it perfect. If you can't make something taste good, sauteed in butter with a little bit of salt. That's on you. Honestly, it's not bad by any means, but it, I probably wouldn't kill myself to go find a mess of those. Probably leave, I mean, the deer like to eat mushrooms too. What do y'all think? Yeah. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I mean, deer need to eat. We can't be taking it all. Mm. Mm. The aftertaste. Mm. <laughs> Jay. Dad, you huh. hear something? Since the the deers just eat them plain, their mouths are pretty much the. What? Did you spit yours out? The grill. Yes. Oh my God, that was horrible. <laughs> so speak to the camera, son. Basically, if deers eat them plain, then they're basically the grill. Yeah. Ooh. You didn't like it either. <laughs> Feel like. Oh. It was okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> How about this? I'm stealing a piece of turkey. You know that's gonna be good though. I thought it was chicken. Mm -mm -mm. That turkey was gobbling yesterday afternoon about seven o'clock. Man, that was good. We're all sort of agreeing we don't really like the mushrooms. You guys check this stuff out right here. We're about to lively and up her plate. Okay. Dab a little bit of that on there. I mean, that's a wild turkey. Most people only eat it fried. Hey, let me try some. That's the bomb. Super good. That's the Super bomb good. diggity. Yep. All right, folks, it's turkey season. We're right in the middle of it. We're in Tennessee right now. We were in Georgia yesterday. We were in Florida the day before that, then back in Georgia the day before that. We're leaving here in two days to go to Kentucky. Me, Glenn, Jake, and Crystal are gonna go turkey hunting tomorrow morning. But once we get to Kentucky, I have a video lined up for you guys that will be like nothing I've ever filmed before. Today, this was just a little filler video, a fun video going to collect some mushrooms and showing y'all some monkeys and good friends and cooking an amazing meal. That meal that I just cooked, minus the mushrooms, and I'm sure if I fried the mushrooms, they'd be fine, but okay, enough about the mushrooms. That turkey meat, and the rice with green beans and onions, you can add broccoli, you can add peppers, whatever you want, that's some of the best stuff you will ever cook, and it's super cheap. You could make that meal with one chicken breast, some rice, and a couple veggies for less than 10 bucks, and it'd be amazing. Right now, though, this video's ending. We gotta go to bed early and get up and turkey hunt. We'll catch y'all in the next one.